So I'm sitting out at Hamilton's waterfront where my view is also the industrial area where recent air monitoring has uncovered high levels of a cancer-causing chemical in neighborhoods throughout the city. As a resident of Hamilton, I deeply care about my community and it's hard to ignore the constant worries I feel about my health and the well-being of my loved ones. With each alarming headline and the lingering smell of chemicals in the air we breathe, you constantly ask yourself, what can we do to address this? If you can relate to these concerns, let's talk about how we can use our lived experiences to advocate for our communities through public participation in environmental law. The main principle of this concept is that those affected by a decision should have the right to be involved in the decision-making process. Let's take Ontario as an example. In Ontario, we have what's called the Environmental Bill of Rights. It allows anyone to comment on government proposals, quest reviews of existing laws, seek investigations into environmental harm experienced by communities, appeal decisions, and even use the courts or tribunals to protect the environment and people. Exercising these rights is crucial for shaping policies and regulations that address the challenges faced by communities like ours in Hamilton. And EcoJustice is fighting to hold companies accountable for violating environmental laws. Here's an example of the EBR at work. In 2013, a toxic chemical spill by Shell Canada affected the Amishinaw First Nation community near Sarnia's Chemical Valley. Using the EBR, advocates from the Amishinaw First Nation requested an investigation and provided evidence of the spill's impact on the community. Shell was charged as a result. In another example, the federal court emphasized the importance of public participation in the Federal Impact Assessment Act ensuring that local communities have a say in major infrastructure projects and preventing them from proceeding without considering their impacts. These examples highlight the importance of community members uniting and taking action. In Hamilton, you can stay informed about air quality monitoring and gain valuable insights to support your own advocacy efforts with Environment Hamilton. If you live in other parts of Ontario, we encourage you to stay informed about the environmental decisions affecting your community by using Ontario's environmental registry. Provincial laws like Ontario's EBR, as well as federal ones like the IAA and the newly reformed SEPA, provide meaningful pathways for public participation. And navigating these laws can feel overwhelming, but that's where we come in. EcoJustice is Canada's largest environmental law organization, and for over 30 years, our lawyers have represented people like you at every level of court, free of charge. So if you encounter environmental injustice in your community, remember that you can always submit a legal inquiry to us and that you have the power to hold the government accountable for protecting people and the planet. We're here to help you understand your rights and take action.